All right, I'm back with part, most likely part two, uh, and then I guess this will kind of determine if I continue on with this. So hopefully, at least this works. Uh, it, it should, uh, which is we're going to set up a pine phone here like I've done before uh, with a Sysmocom SIM card, and I, I actually have another SIM card. However, I need to get another phone. So... We'll just see if we can set up the Open 5GS with a subscriber. We'll bring back up the EMB. And then I'll probably go ahead and take a look at it with LTE Sniffer and see, see what we get. And then I guess the final video would be hopefully I get another phone. And then both phones are connected. And hopefully I can call between the two and then send SMS and then we'll take a look at it with LTE sniffer uh, in regards to uh, sending silent SMS messages uh, to a phone on the same network and I'll link to need to remember to link to the article which I may have did in the previous video um, as to kind of why I'm doing all this it's uh, pretty interesting so okay so what I've done is I have uh, pulled over a file uh, from SRS ran uh, user DB that I had uh, tested before so I don't have to sit here and look at the SIM card and type all this information in again so we're just going to do some copy and pasting but if you do get Sysmocom SIM cards there's usually I think a pack of 10 it'll come with the information that you need uh, like the MZ, the op type, the operator code um, and, and other things that you're going to need to fill in this web page here. So I'm at localhost 3000. I have the dockers running just like I had shown last time. I have the ENB stopped, but we should be able to add a subscriber here. And so let's see. I need my MZ. We need our subscriber key. Uh, we'll leave type OPC and then the operator key. Uh, now I will admit I don't know a lot about all the other fields, the the, the downlink, uplink, uh, slice configurations. Uh, I just got to get time to research all of that. I know is you know what an APN is and and you know those those aspects so but I'm just gonna leave it as what I've entered in right now I'll probably so if I get another phone what I'll do is probably update that 8000 to 8001 if it doesn't by itself so let's save this information and we've got a new subscriber in the database which is the provisioning of the SIM information in Open 5GS. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do, uh, at least in regards to these directions here, is we're going to go into with sudo into the Osmo HLR. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's see, Telnet, yep, okay. Enable. And we're going to replace the MZ. RMZ. And also, I'm going to add the MSISDN, which would be 
Once I get two phones, I'll up that by one, and then that should be a way to communicate between the two phones. Okay. And I'm going to stop there for this part. And let me think through this. So the other thing is we need to make sure that going to look over that ENB comp file again that we talked about in the previous video. Thirty-three fifty. Okay. Give this a try. So I'll open my other Docker window here, and actually I'm going to come over here to the other system. So we're going to see 2680, 2560, 2680, 2560. Okay. So let me think. So I'm going to start this up. I'm going to make sure it's running. It's going to get a little noisy. Let's turn on the uh, X310 that has two daughter boards in it. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, so we'll run, bring up the network. Uh, after, of course, I actually plug in the B205 mini, that would help. Okay, so we should be running our network. This is a, another system. You can see I'm going to run LTE sif sniffer uh, with both the uh, downlink and uplink frequencies. And I think I have it on the mode to sniff all... Uh, have to double check that, but let's run this. Okay, well, that's a good thing. So we see the network we're running on the War Dragon. And let me go ahead and see if we can get this Pine Phone connected. It's going to take a second. I'm, I'm un, un, uh, unlocking or unencrypting the uh, Mobian that is on the Pine phone. Uh, wow. Okay. So. The Pine phone immediately connected to the uh, this new uh, network that we have, and the MZ matches up. So that's uh, that's a good sign. On the network, uh, Open 5GS running. Uh, we put the subscriber information into the database, and we can in fact uh, connect. So I think we're going to, or I'm going to stop there. The next step is getting another phone and actually testing, uh, can I communicate uh, between phones? But 
uh, that's pretty uh, significant here that our LTE sniffer um, you know looks like is doing what I want it to do and if we come back over here we see that we had it connected it says disconnected when you kind of just don't do anything um, but it does show on the pine phone still connected I think you can also can probably also check let's see so There we go. That's what I want. Here we go. There we go. So the Osmo HLR seems to show uh, this uh, MZ and MSISDN was last seen three minutes ago. So, all right. I think uh, I'll continue on and we'll do like a part three. All right. Thanks.